Okay, here we go. So this is the first one of these videos, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the Cody player. I'm going to give him some general advice and some tips as to what I would do if I was in this situation, you know, playing against a Rolento player. And I'm actually not very familiar with the Rolento matchup in the sense that I don't know the option selects you would do against him once you knock him down. Um, I don't know the specifics on his like frame advantage or disadvantage on his moves or the kind of corner mix-ups he can do on you. So like I said, I'm just going to give some general advice like in the neutral game or certain situations where I do have some good knowledge about what he should be doing. So let's see, let's start this match. And let's see what he does. Rolento versus Cody. Okay, here we go. So the opener, they both jump up in the air, okay, nothing too special there. Neutral game, oh, he lands a crumple. Okay, not so good for Cody. Doesn't really have a good game plan there. Oh, another crumple. That's the punish. Okay, that's a decent punish. Okay, I want to stop there for a second. So rewind to when he actually had Relento knocked down. So he got the combo. He knocks him down, he goes for a dash in, but then he goes for a jump in after the dash, which is not the best idea because that's not really a true timing or even a good timing for a mix up because Relento has already gotten up, he's recovered, he has enough time to notice Cody trying to jump over him and so he reacts with his own neutral jump roundhouse and from there he's able to establish his own offense. So what Cody should have done is after he knocked down Relento, after he knocks him down, and he dashes in. Instead of jumping, he should have done like a meaty move or anything that, that have, could have beaten some of Rolento's options instead of jumping. But uh, so Rolento got out of that situation, so let's just go ahead and continue. So Rolento starts his own offense. Cody blocks, good blocking. Okay, right there. When he jumped over him, he was at point blank range when he decided to jump over Cody. So Cody had enough time to actually do something about it. Right around, yeah, right there. So he notices that Relento is jumping. So what he could have done is done a forward dash, which would have put him, you know, on the side of Relento. But the dash also lowers his hurt box, so he would have avoided any kind of air attack that Relento could have done. But besides doing the forward dash, he could have just done Cody's close roundhouse, which actually has a really good vertical range, and it just covers like right above him, right above his head. So it would have hit Relento out of anything that he would have tried also. But uh, he just blocked, which is okay. He blocked the attack, and Relento put himself in the corner. And after that, they're just kind of playing. Gets hit by focus attack. You can't really punish that. Okay, right there. So the punish, it's not going to be a full punish. So he gets a full, he gets a toward medium punch into a low light kick, criminal upper. What he could have done instead is after the forward medium punch, he could have done a close medium punch into a crouching heavy punch and ended with a criminal upper or ruffian kick. So he definitely could have got some more damage out of that. But he did finish the combo and he put him in the corner and he threw a rock, okay. Lento's jumping around. Oh, he, he landed some straight hits, which didn't convert to a combo, so he's gotta finish, gotta finish those little combos. No jab, 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 okay. You gotta finish those, okay. Lanza combo, good. Oh, so Lanza hits him with a random roll into the red focus ultra. And it's not going to kill him, but they both have enough life after this to kill each other in one random hit combo. Okay, oh, right there, right there. So, after he landed that EX, EX Zonk, EX Zonk, he, what he could have done is done his ultra 2, his ultra 2. He could have done it, and it would have done just enough damage to Lanza that it would have killed him. So, you know, not the full animation would have hit, but enough to would have where it would have killed Rolento, and it would have continued on to the next round. But they got this scary situation instead where it could go either way. And, okay, so he lands the hit, and Cody takes the first round. So, right here, in between rounds, what he should be thinking is that, okay, this Rolento player likes to do a lot of things on his wake-up. Likes to press buttons, he likes to jump, so he should be taking advantage of that. And let's see what he does going into it. Okay, the opener, he throws a rock, oh, he throws a rock and Relento's immediately jumping at him. So he should have kind of suspected that Relento was going to do something at the beginning of the round. 
So Rock, not not the best uh, not the best option there. But anyways, we're going to continue his attack. Random Zonk. You shouldn't really be charging Zonk this match, I believe. Oh, got to finish that combo. Okay, forward throw. Oh, that's a dirty cross up. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, nothing there. Okay, it's got a good pressure. Uh, let me go back for a split second here. Let's see, where is it? Nope. Okay, yeah, see the combo. And he lands the forward medium punch. Where's that at? No, blocked, blocked. Well, he gets a random hit. Okay, okay. That works. He had a series of good reads right there, which ended up killing Rolento. So that was that was a good play by the Cody player. He needs to clean a few things up, like the combos that he didn't finish completely, or those random zonks that he releases. Rolento doesn't really have any good like horizontal projectile, so I don't think he needs to charge his zonk in this matchup. But um, anyway, they're going to play their next match, and I believe he's actually going to switch to Rose. Uh, let me skip this in between part. Don't really need to watch that. Here we go. Yeah, so they switch sides, but it's going to be Cody versus Rose. Uh, the same two players. So let's see how Cody adjusts. He knows that this guy likes to press a lot of buttons and move around a lot. So he needs to be a little bit more patient and wait for his openings. Okay, throw in some rocks. Throw in some good pokes. Oh, okay. Not so good. Okay. Let me go back for a split second. So that jump in, he he focused the jump in, but you know it's it's something you can do. But he definitely had enough time to where he could have anti-aired the jump in with either a back medium punch, or he probably could have also done just um, a standing heavy punch, which would have hit him out of the air as well. Okay, 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 no. Okay, so counter hit, forward medium punch. So at that range, let me go back. So at that range, he could have he could have definitely landed a crouching heavy punch into either criminal upper or ruffian kick, and he probably should have gone for ruffian kick just to push him. Um, he should have gone for medium kick ruffian just to push him further into the corner because Rose doesn't have too many options when she's cornered, or at least safe options. She has ways to get out, but they're kind of dangerous for her. And Cody just dominates in the corner, so he needs to get her into that corner as fast as he can. But let's see what he does. So he got the counter hit. Okay, he didn't notice. Okay, Zonk. Zonk was very good. So I'm going to go back for a split second and explain this. So Rose can't really end any of her block strings. I'll go back a little further. She can't end any of her block strings with um, that spiral because it's not a true block string and Cody's Zonk can always go right through it. And if Cody is actually paying attention, if she tries to end that crouching medium punch with a... I'm not sure what the move's called here, orb, so maybe it's spiral orb that she throws, um, he can actually jump in reaction to that and punish her before she recovers. So she can end her block string with the spiral or the orb, because Cody has options to cover both of those enders. So he does a good job here, and he punishes her for trying to do the spiral. Okay, yeah, got a good back throw. Gonna go for a safe jump. Okay. Oh, overhead. Um, that was risky because he was so close. So close. Again, he got hit out of it. So right there, yeah. So he hadn't really made her afraid. To press buttons so she was going to mash something and that overhead is so slow that any button she pressed would have hit him out of it or traded like in that situation so overhead not really a good option there so it needs to try something else okay getting hit another jump in he could have anti-aired random zonk he gets punished for it okay right here just block yeah just block wait for the orbs to go away Okay, okay. Random Zonk again. No, can't do that. Oh, so that was good. That was good. Back throw. Okay, I'm gonna go back for a split second. Because he did a good job. He was blocking for the most part, he was blocking well in the corner. Until he found a good opportunity. So yeah, right there. She was going for a counter hit. Or maybe she thought that 
the Cody was going to go for a standing tech, so he tried to bait that out, but the Cody was patient enough to just block. And after that, he realized that Rose was going to probably going to go for a grab. So he reacts by doing the Ixonk, FADC, okay. Unfortunately, he gets thrown out of whatever he was trying to do right there. But um, he, he, he held his own pretty well in the corner. He didn't panic. Okay, next round. Throwing some rocks. Okay. Okay. Okay, landed a random zonk. Oh. Okay, good throw tech. Picked up the knife, and he's going to lose it immediately, yeah. Okay, a lot of focus attacks. Ah, okay, so I want to go back to this, this crack kick right here. So, I should have mentioned this in this match against the Rolento, but he likes, this Cody player likes to throw that crack kick when there's kind of a lull in the action and he's not sure how to get in. I think it's right around, yeah, right there. So, it, it's a decent move if you think they're going to walk forward and they're going to walk into it, but it's not very good to just throw out randomly and hope that it hits. And if it, if it does hit, you do get like a decent punish. You get to follow the crack kick with a medium kick ruffian, which will push him pretty much like 50% across the screen. So like all the way into the corner from where he's standing right now. But it's not something you want to throw out randomly because it can be ducked under and it can be punished if it just whiffs. So you want to throw it out a little more carefully. So just, uh, just think about that when you're throwing out this move. Be careful with it. It's not always going to hit. Okay. Okay, blocking those fireballs. Another anti-air you could have done. Back throw. Okay, good. Getting some throws in. Okay, so that again, that's that zonk. I'm not sure why he's he's releasing them. It might just be an accident that he's releasing them. But at least he has the presence of mind to FADC it and to go forward to continue his pressure. And he gets another throw off. Okay, he messed up whatever he was trying to go for. He Zonk hits, okay. Ooh, a throw. So anything he lands can kill her. That overhead. It ended up working out, but that overhead was a little bit tricky just because of... She had meter, so she probably could have done like a near spiral and hit him through it. And she could have started her own offense, but it's fine. So at the beginning, she gets another jump in, which... It's the exact same opener that he did in round two against the Rolento. He threw a rock, and the player just jumps in and gets a free combo on him. So he should know by now not to throw those rocks at the beginning of the round like that. Okay, so she gets a free jump in. Lands her combo into super. That's like 50% health already gone. Good throw tech. Right there. So if he was holding his onk, he should have released it like he did in the previous round, I believe. So he needs to keep an eye out for that in this matchup. She, He can't let her finish her block strings with unsafe moves, such as that spiral. Okay, okay, oh, okay, so he saw the counter hit. He confirmed it into a sweep, so that's good. At least he's, he's keeping a closer eye out for those counter hit recognitions. He probably could have got a little more damage if he'd ended it with like a light kick into Ruffian or light kick Criminal Upper, but he noticed it and that's what counts. So he finishes the combo, starts his own pressure, Okay, he probably didn't expect that forward medium punch to hit, so he already had it in his mind to go for a throw. Which, it's an option, but if he sees that it hits, he has to recognize that and continue his combo. So the throw got teched. Ooh. Okay, another throw. Okay, another zonk released. Okay, she didn't punish. Oh, so they both missed punishing each other. But it's okay, that eats up the orbs. She could have anti-aired her again. Okay, crumple. Okay, that's a decent, decent combo. You could have gone for more. Okay, ah. Uh, okay, so he landed another random zonk. And then he was able to kill her with the forward medium punch. So he was getting lucky because those random zonks were actually hitting. But if they had been blocked, he could have got punished pretty hard for those. So that's kind of a bad habit that I noticed in these matches. So that's something else that he needs to clean up. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's those were his um, his matches he had against that player. He won the matches, you know, two zero. He won them two straight. So that's basically all I'm gonna say about the Cody player in this video. He did pretty well overall. 
he has a few things to clean up, like um, finishing his combos. You know, always, always recognizing when he sees counter hit, because that's how Cody gets most of his damage. He has to see the counter hit, and he's got to follow it up with some, some good damaging buttons, like his heavy punches, or his medium punch into a heavy punch, or something like that. Just more damage than just like a sweep, or into a light kick into Ruffian. So you want to get the max damage out of those counter hit situations. And he's got to work on those anti airs for sure. He has, has to work on holding those zonks better than how he held them there. Because he was holding them, but he was releasing them at the wrong time. So I think he just has to get used to finishing combos while still holding a zonk. So those, those are the main things he needs to work on. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for listening. Um, this is the first time, so I'll be doing some more in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching. See ya.